right, so it is time. This is the infant game, and I'm giving a part two on why we should reevaluate the expectations for the sports car market. So one of the things is they did a chart of like what sports were going up the most when it came to sports cards. And one of the biggest ones is hockey. The the second one was soccer. And then I believe it was like basketball and football and baseball. Baseball is the most stable um, because vintage um, just pop control and they don't get as wild out or excited when players have hot streaks and things such as that. The market for baseball is pretty stable for the most part. I think some of the prospects can go kind of crazy because a lot of times flippers are controlling the market. But people are smarter now. Um, and people are more aware of pop counts and things such as that. So one of the things that comes to mind, though, is that we've had a run for cars from the last two years has been pretty massive. Um, the super high-end stuff, especially vintage baseball, that stuff is going to continue to go up because this is always going to be in demand. And it's almost a prestigious thing that's been that way for a very long time. Hockey is going to see big drops if, if it hasn't already. The reason why is because it's ran up so much and people are talking about all oh, this new ESPN deal and things such as that. Listen, hockey is a phenomenal sport. However, it's not going to compete with basketball, soccer, football, tennis, golf. It's just not going to compete with those popular popularity. Um, it's a great sport, but are people going to miss out on watching LeBron James play or Luka Doncic to watch... Connor McDavid or Alex Ovechkin or Sidney Crosby play. Not if they were already a diehard basketball fan, but also let's say they're a football fan too. They're probably not going to quit those sports to watch hockey. This is probably not going to happen. And the time it takes for a sport to actually become super dominant and mainstream and to take over is a while. I mean, the best sport that has the opportunity is um, UFC. Um, UFC cars were extremely stagnant, but now they're they're pretty much the hottest thing right now. Um, same for tennis. Tennis has had major growth and also UFC recently. Um, football is going to see major growth this year. Not as much as what basketball experience, I think. Um, there is going to be the Trevor Lawrence mania thing. Um, but, you know, honestly, they could tank for a little bit until Trevor Lawrence actual rookie cars come out. Um, that's something to keep in mind. And I think people need to understand that a lot of people are trying to sell in August. Um, maybe stuff goes all times highs in August, but you might want to be selling now in the month of July or during the Nationals before the season starts. Um it just makes more sense to me, but we'll see. I could be wrong. Um, the other thing is people aren't looking at this in the long-term thing. Like, yeah, stuff, if you want to call it a crash, sure, it's a crash. But people need to also understand that a lot of people don't want to take the risk. And people are not just going to put their money into cars. They're going to put their money into sealed wax um, because it's safer. People are going to be sending, spending money on, you know, other pay-to-play websites like Dibs or Collectibles or Rally and just owning shares of it. And whenever they sell it for a higher price, then you get that money or you can sell it to someone at, 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 a, at a higher price um, when, when the market is hot. Like, and you don't have to, and you can buy multiple cars or buy pieces of multiple cars or more safer cars. Maybe you only have $1,000, but now you can buy some shares of a car that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you feel that this is way safer than whatever you could have bought with your thousands of dollars, $1,000 or $2,000. Um, the other issue is a lot of these sports car societies that you pay and they give you picks and give you all this information and stuff like that. That's a part of them just manipulating the market. And you got a lot of people and say, sports car pick of the week is this. And everybody grow, rush out and buy it, and it boosts up the prices. And they pick it again, and then another society pick the same car. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's been going up. We need to go and get it. And it just keeps boosting up the price. 
Um, and a lot of people don't care about the card. So that that's another issue that's going on as well. Um, and I think people need to really understand that in general, refractor cards are going to be severely overpriced. So whenever there's a next correction, um, you're going to see crazy run up for refractors and serial number stuff. And then you're going to see major corrections for that stuff. And base won't go up and down as much. So that's something that really keep in touch. And a lot of that stuff isn't going to change. Um, the other thing is for sports cards, PSA graded cards for the month of June. So 46% of cards were from 2010 or came out later. That's 40% of 46% of the cards that graded on June. And these that means these are cards that probably were submitted in July, August, September, October time frame. And people are just now starting to get these cards back. Next is 12% from 2000 to 2010 range. You know, you've got LeBron years and stuff like that. You got football people are interested in. Um, but mostly probably, you know, whatever top cards people want to invest in from 2000, 2010, another 25% is from 1990s, um, junk wax era type stuff. And another 18% is 1980s and earlier. Another thing to look at is basketball is at 38%, um, for the month of June, like the sport with the most car submissions, basketball, that they graded, at least, and that, that's actually been added to PSA's pop report. They got a bunch of stuff they haven't gotten to yet. But basketball is 38%, baseball is 26%, Pokemon is 15%, 12% is football, 4% is soccer, and 2% is hockey. I'm gonna be honest with you, um, there's some things that are gonna change, because I think a lot of people probably put in hockey recently before PSA shut down, uh, same for soccer, um, football, probably not as much. So Pokemon, definitely, especially with Jake Paul and Logan, well, Logan Paul buying cards. And then, yeah, I can see basketball and some baseball, but I think, you know, you're probably gonna see a bunch of UFC. Um, I think you're gonna see a bunch of just a lot of stuff that, that's really going to be going up. Um, the top five cars that are graded. And obviously, these are cars people need to stay away from. 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan, 2,700 cars are graded. Um, 1992 Top Shaquille O'Neal, 2,400 cars were graded. And then two, 2020 Tops Louis, I believe it's Luis Roberts is 2200 and then 1996 tops kobe bryant that paper card is going down tremendously psa 10s are overrated they're really overrated there are a lot more psa 10s are going to be added and you're probably going to see even more and you know over time you may see more that send and get graded and you may have a larger prop count um and then 2020 tops chrome louise roberts 1000 300. It's, it's just one of those things where here, here are the commonalities, right? 1990 Fleer, junk wax era type stuff. Paper card too. 1992 Top, Shaquille O'Neal, junk wax era type card, paper card. Um, Louisa Roberts, Tops, you know, a paper um, rookie card that is you know, it's was, it was really speculation, super speculation. And then 1996 tops, I mean, you should just stay away from paper cards from the 90s, especially if they already have like chrome or refractor type cards. Um, go after that stuff versus the paper because that stuff is about to go insane because everyone tried to grade it. Um, and then just stay away from these ultra modern cards and prospects and things such as that, because you're just going to lose so much money because the pop counts are going to continue to go up and people are going to be like, oh my gosh, um, why is this happening? And 
pop house is going to continue to increase. Demand is going to lessen and it's going to take a lot more for those cars to actually go up in value. And that's really the thing. And people are going to be threat spread so thin because they're trying to buy comic books and buy other sports and they're chasing Formula One and UFC and all this other stuff and basketball and soccer and football and tennis and, you know, pop culture cars that they're going to, a lot of that stuff isn't going to go up. So I think that's the thing. Um, so I think you see some major gaps in the sports car market. And I think people need to really just reevaluate what they're doing. And a lot of these sports that have these major runs like hockey are due for major correction. Um, because they're, most of these people who are getting into hockey aren't into the sport like that. And they don't really like watching the sport. Um, they just kind of have it because, oh, I got the go to this guy. It really is Wayne Gretzky is the go and no one else is going to touch him. And people are just going to realize like, yo, these people aren't that as relevant. Um, same for baseball. Um, I think there's going to be four guys that are young that people are going to want and then two or three current players that are really good that people are going to want. I mean, man, that, that's kind of like Mookie Betts, Mike Trout, and maybe somebody can talk themselves into Bryce Harper. Um, but most of their stuff is going to be cheap and most people don't know who they are. Right, it's not really about star talent in baseball. Even Mike Trout doesn't even go to the playoffs most of the time. That couldn't happen in basketball. So, so, so that that's one of the issues. Um, the other thing is you're seeing this major correction with basketball, but I think basketball is going to recover and be pretty strong. And I think part of it because the charge led by Gary Vaynerchuk, um, he's really into basketball, and you see LeBron, and Michael Jordan cars going up. Um, and then soccer is still going to have a pretty big run because it's new, same for tennis, but I think it did get overhyped a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I just think we need to reevaluate and come up with new strategies and it's not going to be easy. And there's going to be certain things like a lot of these paper products, even let's say Donruss and hoops won't be worth much of anything. Um, that stuff's going to continue to go down. And even a lot of these, especially modern, ultra modern stuff like the prism base and all that stuff is going to go down and refractors, parallels, you know, autos is really going to go up. And people are starting to learn about that kind of market as well. Um, and then a lot of these short print cards people are going to be worried about, but people still don't understand like how many cars are just being made for the newer stuff, which I think is going to deter a lot of people. But yeah, tell me, let, let me know what you think. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and please share with other people. I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. And I greatly appreciate it for you guys watching my video. Thank you.